I want to welcome you to the Prodigal Son Podcast. You know, we do this podcast six days a week, and we do this for a reason. We do this so people can see and understand and and get a grasp on just how much God loves them, just how much He cares for them, just how much He's for them. And and I want to thank you for tuning in. Hey, listen, I want to ask a favor. I want you to uh, share these podcasts on your social media. You know, people people have no idea that that God is a good God, that He's He's for them, not against them. There's millions upon multitude, millions of people that walk the face of this earth today that don't know that. They do, do not know that. And the Word says, the Bible says, that the, the goodness of God is what leads men to repentance. And, and I want to get the Word out about this. I want people to see and understand that, that, that they can count on him. He's not a tyrant. You know, I lived for years thinking God was a tyrant. I really did. I, th- I thought he was a, a some bipolar, just crazy old man that sat on his throne with a hammer in one hand, a lightning bolt in the other, just waiting for me to mess up. But that ain't God. That's religion. And and it's, it's it's sad to say, but it's some of his religious people. Now they're out they're out to jump you every every chance they get, but but that's not God. And this podcast is done every week for that reason, for for to let people know and understand and realize that God is for them. Oh, I thank God that he's for me. He was for me when I was out in the world, backslid, away from him, out of his will, because I didn't know what I know today. And and we want to spread this word, spread this good news throughout the world that we live in for people to see and understand just how much God is for them. People don't realize that, and and it's a shame. It really is that that people have an outlook that uh, that you know God is just a just unpleasable. That's not God. That's not God. But I, like I said, I want to ask you to share these these uh, podcasts on your social media. Share them everywhere you go. I mean, people are being set free all over the world because people like you share these podcasts. They're free. Don't cost anyone anything. All they have to do is 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 tune in. And download them. There, there's, there's hundreds of them now. We're working almost. We're getting close to a thousand podcasts, and it thrills me to be able to say everything that on this podcast is free. Oh, I thank God for that. And you know why we can do that? Because we have faithful partners that partner with this ministry to help us do just that to give these the, God's Word away free of charge, to give these podcasts away to anyone that will listen. I want to f- openly thank all the partners of the Prodigal Son Podcast. Thank you for all that you do sowing into this ministry. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today, a hundredfold return on everything that you sow into God's kingdom through this ministry, through this podcast, helping people see and understand that God's a good God. Glory to God. Share these podcasts on your social media. My prayers for this world today and every day I do this podcast comes out of Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. You know, Paul desired to see the Ephesians come to understand, have their eyes of their understanding opened to God's love and His mercy and His grace and His power and uh, all the things of God. And that is my earnest prayer today for the world that we live in, that they'd have their eyes opened to the truth in God's Word, to the love that He has for each and every person that walks the face of this earth. Glory to God. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere. I've not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope He has given to those He called, His holy people, who are His rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe Him. This is the same 
same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ, who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how how high and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that he has opened my eyes to that love and I pray today that he opens yours. That he opens your eye, your eyes to his love, his mercy, his grace, and his goodness, and all the all the things that he has to bless you with. I pray that you come to understand those things in Jesus. Oh, I thank God for my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, today. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your word. Lord, I thank you for all the truths that you have given us in your word. Guide me, direct me, touch my mind, touch my mouth. Help me be the the vessel that you can shine through, the vessel that you can speak through. Lord, I praise you, and I thank you for all you're doing, all you have done, and all you're going to do. Lord, touch the hearts and lives of the people that listen to this podcast. Help them to freely receive this word and, and your truths that you have written down for all of us to receive. Lord, I thank you and I praise you for what you're doing in this podcast. God, direct me today in Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. You know, this week we've been talking about renewing our minds and I want to continue on and, and talk about a, a, a person in the Bible that, that had his mind renewed and overcame a, a giant in his life, and that's David. David had had a a picture in his uh, mind's eye of just what God could do in his life, just what God had done in his life, and what he would do if he would step out by faith. Step out by faith. The 26th verse of 1 Samuel 17, that's 1 Samuel 17, 26. David asks the soldier standing nearby. Now, this is the New Living Translation. It says, what will a man get for killing this Philistine and ending this defiance of Israel? Who is this pagan Philistine anyway that he is allowed to defy the armies of the living God? David asked him, said, who is this uncircumcised? The, the King James Version says, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? And, and, and who, David couldn't believe his eyes. Now, let me, let me explain something to you. The, the picture that, that first Samuel, and it, it would, it would, it is a really eye opening thing if you'd read first Samuel 17, the whole chapter. But when David walked onto the scene of this of, of this battle, for I think I can't remember how many days it had been, but but Goliath had came out and defied a whole army, a whole army. He had stood up before them and defied them, and told them, "Send me someone out that we may fight." And they stood in in terror 
just scared of him, completely scared of him. And they stood there and looked at him. And when David came out, he couldn't understand why. (laughs) He said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? And what David was saying is, who is this this uh, this giant that has doesn't have a covenant with God, with Almighty God, like I do? And he went on to kill this giant. I'm not going to go into the story, but I want you to see the mindset that David had when he saw these these this army, this 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 army of of seasoned veterans of warriors that that were just in 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 a uh, sheer terror of this giant you see satan wants to build a mountain or put something in your life that you you think you can't defeat he he wants to put a uh, a I don't know what you would say. He wants to put something in your life that that you can't you think that you cannot overcome. And I've said this before and if I can find it I'm going to put it in the video uh Friday or well it'll be, if I can find it it'll be in the video that you saw yesterday. Now like I say you 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 got to understand how this stuff is recorded. And uh but if I can find this picture, and I think I know where it's at, uh, I want you to uh, see what Andrew Womack, the illustration that Andrew Womack made of the devil, of your adversary. And it's a picture of a man with a little mouse by the nap of the neck. And it talks about when we find out what the devil really is. He's just a little rat, a little rat. That's got the world. That's got the world fooled. He don't have us all fooled, but he's got a big, big majority of the world that we live in fooled into thinking that he's a giant that cannot be overcome. David had his had his mind renewed, and he knew in his heart. That what God had done for him in the past, he was about to do it again. David stood up before that giant and spoke to that giant and told that giant, said, son, I'm going to take your head today and I'm going to feed your carcass to the birds of the air. Do you understand me? And he took a a little rock and and now this is this is what this is what a renewed mind will do for you when you get you get so determined and so convinced that God is on your side you'll go against the giant that defied the armies behind you and you'll defeat him with a little stone that you pulled out of the creek I, I've said this over and over, but it I mean in my mind's eye I can see it when David turned loose of that rock. I can just see God taking his taking his hand and just smacking that rock. And 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 it, and it just going at a speed that that the Bible talks about it. Sunk the front, the forehead of that giant in. Can you imagine how how fast that rock had to have been going? You can hit somebody in the head with rock, but you cave their skull in, you've done something. You've done something. And and that's that's God Almighty on David's side. He hit him in the head of that rock and just knocked him colder than a rag. He fell face down, and David went over there and took his own sword and cut his head off. That's somebody with a renewed mind. That's someone that has decided in their heart and in their life that they're going to, regardless of what anybody says or thinks, they're going to stand on God's word. He stood on what God had done for him in the past. Now, what I want want to emphasize with you, when you can renew your mind to the truths of God's word, now, you may say, well, he's never done anything like that in my life. Yes, but he done it for David. 
and he's no respecter of person. Peter said it in Acts 10, 34. I perceive that God is no respecter of person. If he'll do that for David, guess what? He'll do that for you. You can, you can renew your minds to come, oh, to overcome giants in your life. Renew your mind to overcome the giants in your life. David had his mind renewed to what God had done for him. Now get your mind renewed to what God has done for David, that he'll do it for you. What he's done for anybody else that you can think of in the Bible or out here on the street. What he's done for me or any other minister in this world that you that you uh, listen to and have confidence in. Do you understand what I'm saying? What he'll do for me, he'll do for you. But we've all got to step out by faith and do it. We've all got to step out and, 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 and let God take our part and, and, and take up for us. I see, I, I can see it. I saw a picture in, in, uh, in the, uh, on Facebook, I think it was for, of a little lion cub. And his mom got had snuck right up behind him, and and her her head was out around him, and you could see the biggest part of her, but right in front of her was her her little cub laying front and front down. And it's like yeah, he knew she was back there, and he wasn't scared of nothing. Well, let me let me explain something to you. When David looked at that giant, he looked at that giant, and he knew that God had his back. He knew that God was going to go before him. He knew that everything was going to be all right. And that's what God wants you to understand, that if you can renew your mind to the fact that God has got your back, and he's going to go before you and make a way of everything, your life, your life will take a turn that you that you, that you thought you could never ever take he you'll be stronger than you've ever been but it's up to us to believe that it's up to us to renew our mind how do you renew it you renew it with the word and stand on the word and believe the word and and know and understand without a shadow of a doubt that God is for you just like he was David just like he is me just like he is any other person on this earth that that believes him and stands on his word Do you see what I'm saying? Renew your mind to the truth of God's word. Renew your mind and build a faith in you that is is unconquerable, undefeatable, and, and that you can go against anything in this world and overcome it. You know, I was talking to my daughter the other day. I said, I told her, I said, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But, but are strong to the pulling down of strongholds. How is that? How is that? That's God. That's God working in our lives. I want to read that scripture. Hang on just a second. Let me look that up. See, this is the reason I want to look stuff up and read it for myself because I misquoted it. It says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Do you understand that? I told her, I said, what the devil's working with is common to man. He, he can't throw anything at us that is not common to every other person here on this earth. But our weapons are, are not carnal, but are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We can overcome anything if we will believe what God's word says and stand on it and know that he's going to back us up when we step out by faith. Now you may be sitting in your, in at where listen wherever you're listening to this podcast at sitting and thinking that would be so great for that to be real in my life for that to be uh, a reality in my life but you may say well I've never been born again I can't I can't see that happen happening in my life. Well, you can remedy that problem very easily, very easily, quickly. And all it takes is a confession of faith in Jesus Christ. Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. 
That's all it takes to be saved. Won't you be born again? Won't you come to understand and know and realize that God is there for you? He wants you to know that. He wants to save you and see you born into his family. But it's up to us. It's up to you to receive that salvation. It's up to us to believe his word regardless of what it looks like. Glory to God. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today and watch him change your life forever. Hey, if you're listening to this podcast, go to our website, get in touch with us. I invite you to go back and listen to that video or watch that video. It came out Tuesday, Tuesday, April the 13th, 2021. You may be listening to this podcast 10 years from now. But I want you to understand that. Go back and watch that that video. God wants to God wants to strengthen you through illustrations that He has given me. Go to our website. It's the dash prodigalson dot com. If you got a prayer request, send them to me. I want to hear what God is doing in your life. I want to hear what you need Him to do. If you got a prayer request, I want to send you our scriptures that you can can stand on that you and I both can stand on and agree on that God's going to handle your 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 prayer request and your needs in your life cuz I know he will glory to God I thank God for all that he is doing in the people's lives that are listening to this podcast and 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 grasping what God wants to do in their lives hey if you're a partner of this ministry partners thank you Thank you for all that you're doing, sowing into this ministry, helping us do what God has called us to do, what he has commissioned us to do, and that is to give his word away free of charge that the world might understand and know just how much he cares for them, just how much he loves them, just how much he's for them. Glory to God. Hey, if you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.